Jeez, everyone seems to be jumping nowadays. Look at that. That was a nice move right there. See how I slid? I slid and then I jumped, making myself even harder to engage for the enemy. It's trouble time. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to jump shot without using a scuff controller. Now, believe it or not, there are always new players out on the scene for Call of Duty, you know, especially with Black Friday coming up, Christmas coming up. I'm sure there's people out there who watch my videos or any other YouTubers videos and always ask, how do you jump and shoot at the same time? Because they look at their controller and they're like, how do they do it? Well, you know what? The answer is quite simple. The answer is in the settings and the button layout, which I will get into into this video. Let's ask why would people use a scuff jumping while shooting actually increases your chances of winning gunfights versus when you don't because you make it a lot harder for the enemy to lock on to you and shoot you because you're jumping and you make yourself a harder target for them it's obviously in the game for a reason and people who do who do utilize this type of setting within the game are obviously going to have an advantage so either get with the program or don't or just keep complaining about dying to people jumping around the map everywhere all the time it allows you to win more gunfights and it makes you a harder target to hit in game now we're going to get more in depth here so you're going to go to your menu we're going to go to options and you're going to go to controls and you're going to scroll down you're going to go to button layout so here is your default button layout this is uh how uh you get your controller once you unbox it you know what i mean uh i have a normal controller as well this is not a scuff by the way why do that and spend all the money when you can obviously get the same type of functions with the default controller i just got this from amazon 44 bucks and on top i put some control freaks on there you want to use control freaks use code turbo for 10 percent off that is my sponsor by the way i appreciate it if you do you are awesome anyway so for button layout we are gonna go to stick and move now let me tell you why stick and move is awesome Awesome. it's the best layout in my opinion because number one you get to use uh the r3 button which is right here to jump and your melee is going to be x but you know let's be real here how many times have you had to use the melee button unless you know you're going for uh knife only kills or something like that so let's uh move on to the more of the settings here you're going to scroll down and you're going to change this from default to flipped. Okay, so what this does is that it mimics the scuff controller in that the scuff controller has a uh, trigger stop. So basically what trigger stops allow you to do is increase your accuracy from distance by uh, mimicking a burst fire. So a burst fire is when, you know, you go boom, 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 boom. So it allows you to control the rate of fire that your gun shoots especially from distance so having that control will definitely improve your accuracy overall in game so this is what flipping r2 and r1 will do it will do the same exact thing because look how small this button is compared to this so when you're when you're uh, pressing on this when you're firing you know obviously your gun's gonna be moving around everywhere firing around everywhere like ah, yeah, i don't know what i'm shooting at that ah. you know it, it, you go crazy with it so that's why i like it flipped because it's it's just a button you know what i mean you can tap on it you can tap on it it'll still be a more effective choice when you're trying to improve your accuracy or go for those long range type of gunshots that's basically the gist of it that is how you turn your normal controller into a scuff controller and now you're ready to jump and shoot at the same time let's go over the other ones because i know there's people out there who say why don't you use bumper jumper or bumper jumper tactical i like those better but you know what honestly you know take a look at the screen right here you're using your x button to heal and throw your grenades i mean that does not feel natural at all to me that's just my opinion take a look at how you're going to be jumping you have to put your middle finger on the l2 button just to jump using this to ads to jump and shoot it just honestly doesn't feel natural to me and that's just my personal opinion but hey if it works for you it works for you but for me i will do what feels natural and i'm gonna use stick and move and use flip all right so we're gonna go in game and i'm just gonna show you a little tutorial on how to do it as well because there's people who ask how do you jump and shoot at the same time it's pretty basic but hey there's people who want to learn here we go I'll see you guys in the gameplay all right you guys so here we are in game i'm gonna be showing you guys uh how to jump and shoot at the same time of course not every time you want to jump and shoot there's a guy here jump and shoot there you go oh there's one look at this guy he's jumping around oh man i didn't even see that guy coming 
but yeah did you see how that guy was jumping to avoid dying right there that's the main the main number one reason why people do it and why it's so popular i mean look at that right there i'm pretty sure i just made myself a hard target for that guy and that's why a lot of pro players they use scuff controllers i mean they are sponsored by scuff but you know you see it all the time it does help them win more gunfights so that's another thing i like to do i like to slide and then jump at the same time slide jump around corners right there okay got another one coming up right here oh this is gonna be a good one boom look at that we were both jumping at the same time Woo! oh my goodness oh my gosh i'm gonna die there he is okay cool we survived okay we gotta get this ammo pack asap anybody else there's one right there Jeez, everyone seems to be jumping nowadays look at that that was a nice move right there see how i slid i slid and then i jumped making myself even harder to engage for the enemy those are usually the times when i like to jump shot is when it's one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one. there i didn't need to oh no we got somebody right behind us right there jumping again jump and shoot get used to it if you're not used to it get used to it because it'll help you win those gunfights right there there's another one where's he going where is he going he's going around there he is he had his back turned to me no need oh nice one but anyways guys you guys get the gist of it i just wanted to show you guys in game like how you know look we're 12 and 2 right now how jump and shot how uh, how jumping and shooting at the same time can dramatically increase your chances of winning gunfights it's just that simple the settings are in the game you guys just have to utilize it correctly and learn how to use it again let's do a recap jump and shoot jump and shoot jump and then shoot jump and then shoot jump and then shoot all right so hold on let me let me respawn let me respawn and show you again the, the other move that i like to do is where i'm sliding like this and then jumping and shooting slide jump and shoot slide jump and shoot again do it around corners mostly effective and in one-on-one -on -one go fight so uh i hope you guys found this video helpful please drop a like in this if you did find it helpful share it with your friends it may help them who knows and subscribe for more and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video from me because i will be posting more tips and tricks uh, that will help your guys' gameplay. All right, guys. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.